Before we start this video, I would request you all to support my channel Adam's Tech Guide by clicking on this red subscribe button right below this video. Once you guys click on this red subscribe button, you will see this bell notification icon right next to it. Please make sure you click on this bell notification icon and click on this all in order to get the notifications and the updates for my future videos. And last but not least, if you guys like my videos, please click on this thumbs up button to show me your love. Hey guys, Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. After a long time, I'm back on YouTube. This is my new video. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I installed Windows 11 on my computer. In this video, I'm gonna make things really simple for you all to understand because I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, they tried their best. I really appreciate all of the YouTubers out there, all of the tech community out there who have worked uh, and who have, uh, you know, made a way to get this installed on your uh, machine this is the issue with windows 11 uh, even though your hardware is uh, up to date uh, you've got very good hardware it kind of gives you the error message that your hardware is not compatible tpm a lot of things in the background which happens because of which it doesn't get installed on your system because you guys know that windows 11 do need tpm settings to be enabled on your systems motherboard to work so just for your knowledge tpm is an encryption technology which your operating system uses to encrypt files when it gets installed on your system now if that mechanism is not uh, turned on on your system sports it will not support Windows 11 because it do require the TPM to be turned on on your system board now there are a few requirements first of all you'll have to take a backup of your existing hard drive because this will get installed on your C drive though the setup window will give you the option to keep your files keep your application and files and keep nothing but I'm not going to rely on that particular option Option because you know if you are doing this for the first time you never know what will happen so try to make a backup of your existing C drive whatever you have the drives in your computer uh, this will get installed on your C drive so if you have the contents if you have your saved data on your C drive try to back up those uh, your downloads your videos try to back up all of the contents in the external hard drive if you have uh, then proceed further with the process uh, we have the image file for Windows 11 we will directly run a set of file for Windows 11 and we will select an existing hard drive we will proceed further with the setup installation wizard uh, it will take some time because you know your C drive will function it very slow uh, be patient it will work because it took me around an hour to get this entire thing working on my computer just to let you know this is working on my spare hard drive I have a primary hard drive I'm gonna back up all the contents from that primary hard drive which I've been using since a while I've made almost like seven to eight videos of mine on the same hard drive which I am going to take a backup for and I'm gonna install Windows uh, 11 on this primary hard drive I'm going to use this operating system full-time uh, just to give you guys a review of how this operating system uh, works for me because I have just installed Windows uh, 11 operating system on my spare hard drive three days back uh, yeah four days ago I have installed this OS on my secondary hard drive using Windows 10 on my pre uh, on my primary hard drive and Windows 11 on the secondary hard drive just to see if things are working so yeah enough of the talking already without wasting any further ado let's get started with the video So guys this is our desktop screen first you'll have to download this file tpm 2.0 error fix from the link in the description once you download this you'll have to search for windows 11 image file once you are done getting the image file for windows 11 you'll have to open the image file so this is the image file which i have here i'll open the image file and these are the contents in the image file um, I will make a separate window for Windows 11 64 bit. I'll have to open this, and this window will be empty because I'll have to extract all these files which are there in the image file, and I'll have to drag and drop it into the blank folder which I just made Windows 11 64 bit. So we have to wait for a while till the time these all contents gets extracted into this folder. Once they are done, you'll have to uh, okay. We're gonna have to wait till the time it completes. Uh, the transfer process and I'm gonna be back in the video again Once you are done with this you'll have to keep this folder open and uh, Just close all the other folders just to be on the same page now uh, open the uh, folder which says uh, TPM 2.0 error fix and Just keep this side by side 
uh, from the you know extracted folder go to uh, sources and now here you'll have to just drag these two for these two files and you'll have to drop it over here uh, once you do it it will give you the option that you know it has already got the files which you are transferring so pl please go to uh, replace the file in the destination and click on it now once you have copied this you'll have to close the folder and that's it we are done with making an image file for windows 11 so this will probably not give us any error message during our installation i'm gonna go to the windows uh, 11 folder and I'll you know run this setup file I'm gonna switch the screen recording to the external camera because once I start this process uh, this will probably restart my computer or else it will stop the you know window or else the screen recording and my footage will be lost and I'll switch the screen to the camera so that you guys can see real time what I'm doing uh, so once I double click on the setup this window will come up on the screen I'll have to click on this which says change how setup downloads the update if you want you can click on this if you are trying this after a month or so and I will go next uh, and we'll have to wait so guys this entire process will take time because we are working on C drive of our computer and we are initiating the setup from C drive um, so in this I'll click on accept and again I'll have to wait now this is the important part in this window the setup is asking me to keep my files it will give me three options three radio buttons um, keep personal files and apps keep personal files only or if you just want to erase everything and install a fresh window on it as I mentioned before I've already made a backup of my entire uh, Windows 10 so I'm gonna click on nothing but if you want you can you know try going for these two keep personal files and applications by the way if you go for the first one it will only keep the applications which are compatible for Windows 10. I mean, this is something which I've already tried, but few of the application crashes because of the compatibility issue, but it do works. Uh, keeping personal files is something which I would go for, but I don't recommend these two options to go for just to be on the safer side. Try making a backup first and go for a fresh installation because you just want to get rid of all the files and folders and you just want a fresh installation so going for the third option works best for me again it's like it's your choice click on both of them if you want and you can go for it now I'm gonna click next and I'll just wait for the other window of the installation uh, now this thing will pop up twice the window which is gonna come now is gonna pop up twice um, again it's gonna ask me change what you want to keep I've already done it so it's just recapping the thing just to cross verify if I have selected the right, shot, right option for me I'm gonna click on install now and I'll initiate the installation process so uh, if I can show you what is there on the top of the page alright let's see here I've got you know I've got a bunch of things there um, let me just zoom in a little bit let me just focus here okay perfect so that's at 1% now it will take some time so it, it probably took around 16 minutes for me to complete the entire process uh, again it depends upon your hardware speed
so uh, it just bought this window which is asking me to select the country uh, and the region so I'm going to go for United States and click on yes uh, let me just zoom out a little bit so that you guys can see the windows now it's asking me to select a keyboard layout I'm going to skip and I'll wait for the next window to come checking for the updates and uh, now in here I'm going to go with the first option which says set up for personal use and I'll highlight this and I'll go next alright now I'll click on this thing which says sign in options uh, if you have the Microsoft account you can you know log in with your Microsoft account but I'm just going to be offline as of now uh, I'll go for the offline account and I'll wait for the next window to come I'll click on skip it for now I'm just fast forwarding the entire process so that you guys are not getting bored <laughs> so it's asking to enter the name of my computer so I'm gonna give Adam's tech guide it's asking for the password I'll put in the password I'll go next it's asking me to enter the security question uh, I'm going to skip it for now. I'm just going to pause the recording and I'm going to restart. Okay, I'm done with the security question. Now it's taking us to the other window. Now here, I'm just going to keep all the things turned off because I just don't want any additional things to run in the background, to be running in the background. So I'm just going to switch off all the services. Later on, I will fix it. So I'll switch off all the services and I'll click on accept. So this is the first look of the desktop screen. Uh, as you can see, um, I can spot out the difference that you know the uh, the taskbar is uh, different compared to Windows 10. Uh, it's a little bit uh, broad, I can say. And you know the start menus are here, uh, as you can see at the bottom. I'm just gonna right click on the taskbar. I'll click on taskbar settings. I'll go to uh, the top which says uh, where do you want it to okay the settings have been changed uh, yes, for behaviors alignment okay yeah here is the setting for the taskbar so in order to get it at the left hand side uh, left hand bottom corner we'll have to just click on this drop down and click on left and it will come at the left uh, so like how we have Windows 10 we've got the taskbar similar to Windows 10 now uh, I prefer to be this way because I'm more used to this, uh, you know, this location for uh, Windows Search. That's why I'm just preferring it to be legacy. So, guys, this is it. This is how you install Windows 11 operating system on your computer without any error message. Uh, you know, this is how we do it. I hope you like this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions to ask, you guys can feel free to write down your questions in the comments box down there. I am not talking about the image file for Windows 11 operating system please do not ask me for the link that's something which you have to buy or else you have to sign up for if you get the image file do the process and you are good to go if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up please do subscribe for my channel Adam's Tech Guide there will be a red subscribe button right below the video once you click on subscribe button do not forget to click on the notification icon the bell icon right next to the subscribe button thanks a lot guys for watching this video I'll talk to you guys in the next one peace